Hey everyone, so today we're going to be reviewing Dead Ops Arcade. This is part one of the Call of Duty Black Ops uh, review series. Yes, because there are multiple parts to this game. It is a big game. And uh, in this part, we're reviewing Dead Ops, which um, surprisingly, a lot of people might not have even played it if they buy this game, because it's kind of like tucked away. Yeah, um, not many people know about it. It's um, If you would like to find it, you need to go to Zombies. And uh, the level is called Dead Ops Arcade. Yeah. And so basically, it's a lot different from... It's not your regular zombie map at all. It's uh, it's like a completely different game. It's kind of like an old school... Uh, like a Shooter dual game. Dual stick shooter, yeah. If but you have ever played the game... Um, Minigore? Minigore or Gorilla Bob. Yeah. Like it, a, it's a lot like those games on the iTouch. Yeah, basically it's like a top-down uh, perspective on... Uh, one to four people you can play online on this yeah um really you don't really need to know the controls because like you just learn them when you play oh this stick is move and then uh i don't remember which stick is to move uh the left stick is to move right stick is to uh like aim your gun and it shoots automatically too and then uh, also in the game when you're playing you find all these different items you could get like helicopters, tanks, different weapons, and uh, you could get a chicken that like gets a gun and shoots stuff with you. And yeah, it's, it's double. just a bunch of crazy stuff. You get like uh, these trash can things. I don't, know. I don't even know. It's like a protective barrier around you. Just and, and like when you're playing, you just find these excessive amounts of gold that like. <laughs> yeah, those are basically your points. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's it's a really cool game. The only problem I've had is. Uh, the characters, like sometimes my eyes drift away from my character and I start like running into a uh, electric bolt or something. Something really dumb like that and I'm just like, oh no, yeah, what like, just happened? I guess maybe the, uh, the, like the colored circles around the characters could be bigger or something? Yeah, or they could be brighter. There yeah. should be a way where you could turn up the brightness. But... Just to help that. But otherwise, I mean, there's really not much to it. What you see on screen is basically what you get. Yeah, it does look really good, though, for, like, such a small game. It looks pretty nice. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty simple little mini-game. Also, the sound is pretty cool. I mean, you just have the effect of, like, shooting. Yeah, like, uh, your controller, like, vibrates, like, forever when you shoot the, uh, when you shoot your gun, like, machine gun. Yeah, you feel like such a badass when you're playing this game. <laughs> and then, especially when you get the helicopter. It's crazy. And the tanks. Yeah. It's an amazing uh, mini game for Black Ops. Um, also, zombies, it's not really like Call of Duty zombies where they get more difficult as you go. They're kind of just the same level. Yeah, there's just like more of them, I think, as the levels go on. They're kind of like ants and you're just crushing them. <laughs> so there, there's really like no skill needed in yeah, this game. But of course, it is still survival. Like, you're gonna. Like, you have a certain amount of lives, and you see how long, you, how far you can go. Yeah, um, I don't even know what round we got to. We got pretty far. Yeah, we only got to, like, round, like, 15 or something, 10. 15. Oh. Yeah, it's weird. This game is actually pretty difficult uh, at those rounds. Like, compared to maps like uh, Ascension, you could get to, like, if you have two people, you could get, like, what round could you get to? Uh, like, 100. No, nah, we've only gotten to like round like 25 or something. 25 is your highest? I never really played Ascension. Like 26 or something. Yeah, so like 15 we died like right away because there were so many zombies and I was so dumb. Yeah. I ran into like so many electric bolts. Plus the rounds go by a lot faster. Like each round is maybe like three minutes. Yeah. I don't know. Like, and like in zombies, when you get to round like 26, like each round is like 20 minutes. Yeah, it's really long, but in this, it goes by pretty fast. You can't really survive in this game, which is the, I guess it's a machine gun, right? Yeah. You, you can't really survive with it. You, yeah, you could kill a couple zombies, but when it gets like really intense, you need to get RPG or something crazy. Yeah, like power-ups just pop up all the time. It's only a matter of getting to them. Also, you have a nuke, um, and you also have a speed-up button. So let's say there's a bunch of zombies around you. You could either press the speed-up button in a certain direction, and you just like fire in that direction. Yeah, and like the zombies just go flying. What's the speed button again? I think it's like R1. R1. And then L1 is your nuke. It basically works as like a nuke in regular zombie just games. Just kills all the zombies. It's yeah. amazing. It saved me so many times. So here's a funny story. We were uh, playing, right? Um, all of a sudden, 
Brad goes down, and Brad's like, oh, use your nukes. And then I'm like, I don't have any nukes. He's like, oh, wait, I have, like, seven. And I'm like, are you kidding me? You have seven nukes and you died? <laughs> I mean, I just had to complete the round, but I couldn't because there were no power-ups. Yeah, I was covered by zombies, and I was trying to get a nuke power-up, which all these zombies were, like, swarming. So, yeah. Um, also, I'll... there's this, like, uh, gorilla thing yeah, called, yeah, like, like, a cosmic silverback, I yeah. think. We don't really know what he does. Yeah, he just, like, appears, and then, like, he just goes off screen. Like, I don't know if you can kill him or what happens with that. I have a feeling you kill him at one point. Yeah, because when you shoot him, like, blood comes out, but, like, so the, I'm assuming you can kill him, but I, want, I really wonder what happens when you do. We just suck so much that we can't. Yeah, we haven't gotten that far. We're planning on actually beating this game. Yeah, beating Dead Ops. Beating? That's what he's saying. I'm going to just, like, beat Call of Duty zombies. <laughs> I'm going to get to the last level. <laughs> Is that even possible? That would be amazing. There probably is some last level, because they can't generate so many zombies. Maybe they can make them, like, stronger, I guess. But they just, well, like, they generate all the zombies they can, like, in one map. Mm -hmm. but when you kill them, they just generate more, and, like, as the rounds go, they'll just keep generating more groups. So, I'm guessing in this game, since the zombies don't really um, become stronger at all, I'm guessing you just have a whole bunch of zombies on the screen and that just keeps on going on you have to have like a bunch of nukes yeah. and just I hope that you survive. I heard something like uh, the highest uh, score is like round 96 or something like that. That's crazy. Like I really wonder what that looks like. It's probably a YouTube video somewhere. Yeah, like I'd like to see that if, the, if like the screen is just covered with zombies. Yeah, <laughs> it's just nukes non-stop. Right when you kill all the zombies, more zombies appear. Also, there's like uh, no perks like Juggernaut or anything. You really just have to rely on uh, reflexes and yeah. keep your eye on your character. Yeah, it's crazy. This game's amazing. It's actually one of my favorite parts of Call of Duty Black Ops. I mean, yeah, multiplayer is fun. The story is like, yeah, whatever. Zombies is amazing, but like this, this is just the best ever. It's just like crazy. Like Treyarch didn't even have to add this. Like there was nothing like this in any of the of the other uh, Call of Duty games. But yeah, there was a uh, this one thing where you had to go, like get up out of your seat and go to the computer and like type something in to get this right. Mm -hmm. But I guess they changed it so that everyone just automatically gets it. Cause yeah, they must have like patched it or something. Maybe. Because I guess they wanted pe more people to play it. I guess. Because I got my game. And it had it on. But maybe... I got my game used, though. So, they might have done it. Yeah, I don't know. It's possible. You know, the world's a crazy place, and we're not really sure what's happening out there. <laughs> yeah, I would love to see um, more Call of Duty games with, like, mini games like this. That would yeah. be really cool. So, uh, that's our review of Dead Ops Arcade. I hope you enjoyed it, and... Uh, we'll see you in part two for... Nazi zombies. Yeah, I love Nazis. And Soviet zombies. Oh, really? Oh, I didn't even know there were Soviet zombies. In Ascension, zombies. there's Soviet zombies. And there's monkey zombies, too. Yeah, they're like space monkey zombies. I, I don't... They're talking about zombies. So, so anyway, in part two, tune in for wait, wait. space monkey zombies. Um, so, yeah, I mean... I, I'm, I'm guessing the credits are rolling by right now. Probably. Yeah. You just keep talking anyway. Okay, thanks for watching. Woohoo! Ha ha ha!